What's up everybody, Bubba D's here. Why do you do your pots when you can use the Instapot? If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe and follow us on all social media. Today, we will be making a corned beef brisket and we're also gonna be doing baby potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off with four cups of water. Now, you can already see that I put the trivet inside the Instapot. This is to make sure that the meat is not actually uh, touching the water. So after putting in our four cups of water, we'll go ahead and add our corned beef brisket right on top of the trivet, just like that. And we'll get ready to close up our Instapot. So we're gonna put our lid on, we're gonna seal it, make sure that our, our steam release valve is set to close. We're gonna turn it on 60 minutes on high pressure with a slow release. So we'll get that all uh, warmed up and we'll get it started and then we can start to prepare our baby potatoes and Brussels sprouts. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of water. Now I already have a trivet placed in the Instapot and that's just to make sure that these steam baskets are not actually gonna to be touching the water. So these steam baskets are one of my videos that I did a couple of months ago about a hack that I found from Ikea. Um, they come in handy when you're doing multiple items and you need to steam multiple things. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our Brussels sprouts. Now I already cleaned and washed these Brussels sprouts. And we're also now gonna go ahead and put in our baby potatoes. So whenever you're cooking Brussels sprouts, it's always good to remove the first layer of uh, their leaves. And then you can kind of make a score mark at the bottom with a knife just to help it cook evenly. All right, so here we go. Put the lid on, seal it up. We're gonna go ahead and set our timer now. We're gonna have five minutes on low pressure. Make sure that it's on the low pressure setting or else you will overcook your vegetables. And for this, we're gonna be doing a quick release. So we're gonna wait for the timer to count down. And then before you know it, we will have perfect vegetables, potatoes and Brussels sprouts. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off our Instapot. And then open it up because we are doing a quick release be careful that uh, you allow the steam to release and once that happens and the pin drops we'll go ahead and open it up and there we go we got our vegetables and we'll get ready for plating and we're doing a natural release for our corned beef brisket so we're gonna make it do a natural release for about 15 minutes. And then we'll take that guy out as well. Now while we're waiting, if there's anything that you wanna see or any questions that you may have, definitely uh, leave a comment. I always respond and I'll get back to you with the answer or I may even do a video. And if you haven't already done so, follow us on all of our social medias. And if you ever want to get in touch, you can send me a direct email as well. All right, so 15 minutes, natural release. We'll get ready to open up our Instapot. We'll turn it off. 
The pin at this point is already dropped, but we will go ahead and release any additional steam and we'll take a look at our beautiful corned beef brisket. I am telling you, this is so tender. It's a completely different process than doing it on the stove. And there you go, corned beef brisket, baby potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.